Hello, my name is Kamil Rodansky, and today I'll be telling you about some Polish Christmas traditions. So on Christmas Eve, right before we have our big feast, or like the dinner for Christmas Eve, we take this type of bread. It's kind of like communion bread, but it hasn't been consecrated, so it's not holy or anything, and it has some cool designs, like that's, you can see kind of Mary holding baby Jesus, probably after she gave birth. And what you do is you would break a piece off, Give it to each family member, and each family member that you have or guest would go around and you would do all the family members. And so, if I was with my mom, I would break it off even more and be like, give her blessings like for peace, for health, for good fortune, for happiness. And then she would eat it like so. And then she would do the same to me. She would be like, peace, love, good education, happiness. And then you just go around the room until you're done with your bread. And that would basically be it. And you also do this sometimes during Easter, but that's with some pink bread, and we have some pink bread also. Um, this one you could probably see a bit more, but I couldn't really tell you what that is, so. And yeah, that's basically it. It's a fun little tradition, and anyone can do it, so if you would like to start some cool traditions with your family this year, that would be one I would recommend. So, as always, strong on naszą rodzinę, no poem. Behold, a thrilling voice calls out and chides the darkened shades of the earth. Pale dreams are gone, dim shadows fly. Christ in his might now shines on high. The Lamb of God is sent below, himself to pay the debt we owe. Oh, for this gift, let every voice with songs and prayers to God rejoice. The blessed author of our race took human form to bring us grace. Lest lost should be those whom he made, and he with love our sin repaid. And see, with heavenly grace instilled, a mother's loving heart is filled. Behold, a virgin's body bears the mystery of endless years. The mother makes her spotless breast a temple for the child to rest. This virgin loved the Holy One, and she conceived the eternal Son. To him who comes the world to free, to God the Son, all glory be, to Father, maker of us all, and Holy Spirit, God we call.